Hello, hello, hello. It's time for more video review, and we're going to do a review on function or not a function. And if you guys remember, we had talked about functions the um, third nine weeks, and we had discussed about how the x in an xy coordinate set could not repeat. And if you remember, we did a little thing in class where the x was the cheater. And um, the y is allowed to repeat, but the x cannot. So the x can only be seen one time. Okay, so right up here, it says up here, for something to be a function, the x cannot repeat. x cannot repeat. Only y can repeat. So I have a couple of examples up here for you. And if you look at number one, it's showing the numbers negative 2, 5, 7, 3, 4, 8, and 9, 5. This is my x. This is my x. This is my x and this is my x. Because our coordinates are always listed x, then y. So do any of my x's here repeat? I have a negative 2. I have a 7. I have a 4 and a 9. So this is a function because the x does not repeat. But miss, I see here that I have a 5 and a 5. That's okay, because those two fives are in the y's. The y is allowed to repeat, but the x cannot. So now let's look at the second one. I have x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y. So here's all my x's. A negative 1, a 0, a negative 1, and a 4. Do we see any of our x's that repeat? I do. I see a negative 1 here and a negative 1 here. So because those two negative 1's repeat, this one is not going to be a function. So, not a function. And why? X repeats. Okay, so that's how you do it when you have sets of pairs. Now, what if we have a graph? And we have points on the graph. And I don't know how clearly or quickly. Let me see. There we go. If you look right here, it's showing you some points on the graph. What I like to do is I like to look at them, and I can see that this is starting here at the left. I always read my graph left to right like a book. So my first point is negative 2, then 0. My next point is 0, 2. And then this one looks like we're going to say it's around 1, negative 2. Okay, so I'm going to list them like this so I can read them. Negative 2, 0, 0, 2, and 1, negative 2. And I know that's not exact, but I'm just kind of looking at it. So if I look here, do any of my x's repeat? I have a negative 2, I have a 0, and a 1. None of my x's repeat, so this is a function. Alrighty, so that's how we would do that one. Now, the next part we're going to look at, we're going to use what we call the vertical line test. And you could use that for this piece as well. The vertical line test is when you take a ruler or a pencil or something that you have. And I actually take two straws together, okay? And I'm going to see it move across, and I'm going to make sure it does not touch more than one X at a time. So on this one, if you look here, it's only touching one X here. It's touching one X here and one X here. So it is a function. So on number four, I have this diagonal line. So if I take this right here and I move it across, it's only touching 1x, 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 1x. So do you see that? It never touches more than 1x at one time. So this one, my friends, would be a function. All right. How about this one? And it's the red. I'm going to take this right here, and I'm crossing. Uh-oh, what do you see? It's touching x here, and it's touching x here. Right here, it's touching x here, and x here. So because it's touching x in more than one spot, so see how it's touching x here and here, here and here? This is not a function. It touches x in more than one place. Okay. And then the next one, let's look at it as well. Same thing. I'm going to cross, cross, cross. And what do you see here? It's touching an X 
an X and an X. So it's touching X in several places. So that also is not a function. Right? So just a quick recap. I'm going to move this back. Oops, I'm going to, sorry, I'm trying to help you guys here. So just a really quick recap. For something to be a function, the X cannot repeat. You can have more than one Y, but you cannot have the X. The X would be a cheater, okay? Um, and then you could also use the vertical line test. Use a straw, use a ruler, use a piece of paper. You could even use your hand. And if it touches more than one X at one time, then it is not a function. All right, you guys are going to rock this great enhancement exam. Miss you guys. Bye-bye.